everyone, welcome to the Quest of Mage, and welcome back to another No Man's Sky video for the Nintendo Switch. In today's video, I want to talk about five updates that I would like to see in 2024 to improve the overall experience of this game for the Nintendo Switch itself. So please sit back, relax, click like, subscribe, and hopefully enjoy. Here we go. So here we are in a brand new year for No Man's Sky on Switch. 2024 hopefully will bring a lot of good things for this game on this and other platforms. Predominantly, most of this is going to be single player focused as on Nintendo Switch, we don't have multiplayer. And my list are five things that I think would help the overall gameplay for this game in the long run. Less about fantastical ideas and more about things that I think could be done and should be done to help out the game. So without further ado, let's get straight into this list. The first update I would like to see are attack skills being added for the multi-tool. The overall combat in No Man's Sky I do think is fun, even though I think it still lacks a lock-on mechanic, which could be part of this update if it was a thing. One idea to increase the interactions of the player with enemies would be to add attack skills for multi-tools. Now what are attack skills? For me, attack skills would be skills that would amplify amplify the attack or change the attack method within the game. So elements like fire, ice and water also accompanied with electric, poison and stun. By having three elemental styles of attack and having three additional variations, this would allow the player to have a wider variety of choices to attack an enemy in the game and I think overall it would lend itself well and give us more things to work with. Enemies could also be updated to have a random element they are weak to. That I think would go hand in hand with this update. So you'd have X attack would be strong against X weakness. But this would overall depend on some variables. The world type, the enemy type, and the overall location of the enemy on the planet itself. As an example, if we have a cave spider on a toxic planet, maybe they would be weak to water damage, as the water damage would affect the toxicity of the spider. I think this as a general idea would really help the gameplay and add a layer of player choice to each battle, which I do think is missing. The second thing that I would like to see added would be more loot variety and new multi-tools. Using the attack skills that I just mentioned and adding these into the random multi-tool generation to give the player a bigger loot pool overall. Currently the player base tries to find multi-tools that look in a specific way with a specific class and I'm assuming we all mostly look for S class multi-tools. By adding these elements to the loot pool, it would make finding multi-tools, I think, more interesting, giving them more variety. So we'd now be trying to find a multi-tool for three different things. The multi-tool style, the class of each multi-tool, and now I think it would also be valuable to look for what type of attack skill is attached to said multi-tool. So that variety in essence would create new styles of multi-tool, but I would also like to see brand new multi-tools added to the game itself like we saw in one of the updates last year. But I'd really like to see this idea expanded. Why not have Corvax, Gek, Viking, Pirate or Sentinel multi-tools added to the game, assuming that our current multi-tool is a traveler one. The new Atlas multi-tools as an example were very very pleasing to the eye and I think why not add more multi-tools with this style in mind. I would be very interested in see what a Corvax multi-tool would look like, or a Gek one, or a Viking one. I do really think that these sort of updates add more variety to the game and by adding more variety it allows us to go out into the game world and really want to find brand new things things. Obviously, I would love to see the amount of multi-tools a player could hold at any one time increased or at least have the ability to store these multi-tools at a player base or on a freighter or even on a player spaceship. Next would be Dungeons on Planets. I already have a video on the channel speaking about how I wanted Dungeons on Planets and I still really, really think this would massively help the game. Please do watch that video after watching this one if you are interested. But generally, for a long time, I think that Dungeons on Planets are needed to increase the gameplay possibilities on the surface of planets. I love the gameplay loop we have now, but I do think more would help. When we saw that abandoned freighters were added to the game, I thought it was great and a very welcome addition. 
So why not take these procedural or randomized dungeons and make these available on planets, but with an organic look to them? If we are on a tundra planet, why not have the walls full of ice and the player could accrue ice damage? On hot planets, melting metal walls I think would be a very interesting thing to see, and the player would accrue fire damage. Toxic planets would have corroded walls, and the player would be affected by toxic or poison damage. I think you get the overall idea. Coupled with the last two points that I made, I think we'd have a very good basis for new dungeons and loot types as a possible reward. I think that having the possibility to have these dungeons on planets would increase overall player interest in traversing planets by itself. Imagine having one of these crashed freighters on a planet and actually having a dungeon to traverse underneath it. I would love that idea to be available in game. Next would be Quicksilver into single player, another point I've mentioned on the channel before. The idea of Quicksilver as a secondary in-game currency, or maybe tertiary because we have nanites, to be available and unlocked in the game is a really nice thing to have. But why not add the possibility to obtain this in single player? Now we currently do have the ability to do that, but it's based on RNG. You'd have to fly through space within a solar system. We have a slight chance of coming by one item that if destroyed would give us Quicksilver. But instead of being RNG based, I would love to see Quicksilver given to the player during normal gameplay. Maybe even add this to the end of the dungeons I just mentioned as an extra reward, giving the player more reasons to go out into the universe, play the game, and have more items to unlock for playing the game itself. And lastly in this list, and for me most importantly, would be fix the crashes. The biggest update I think we need in No Man's Sky in 2024 is not an update to add more objects, items, loots, enemies, or anything like that. It would be an update to fix most, but if possible, all the crashes. The crashes on Nintendo Switch are known in the community, I've mentioned them before, made one video about it specifically, but I would also like to add that the issues that we have with crashes are not inherently exclusive to Nintendo Switch. They do affect other platforms. I still think that crashes for No Man's Sky are the biggest issue for new or legacy players. We have crashes that vary from interacting with freighters, frigates, sentinel ships, or sentinel planets. These crashes could render saves unplayable or stop players from progressing story or what they are doing. The fact that we have crashes that end up in players losing vast amounts of hours in gameplay is far too great for me to ignore. As I said, these crashes are very well known to the community, but more than likely are very, very difficult to fix. Otherwise, by now, there's no reason why Hello Games, to me, one of the best developers when it comes to supporting their game for their community, would have fixed by now. And I'm assuming one of the things that makes this so difficult to fix is that the game is now available on so many platforms. That being said, each platform seems to have crashes that cause issues with their player base. Some of us are lucky, and I count myself in that group. I rarely have crashes playing No Man's Sky on Nintendo Switch or when I even played it on Steam. However, having these issues affect any percentage of your user base for vast periods of time, I think is ultimately a bad thing and needs to be fixed on either a console by console basis or platform by platform basis due to the game being available on Steam and Mac, or all together if possible. The idea that new players are buying the game, going into this universe, and want to play it, and then have crashes to stop or stunt their progression. I would hate to be in that position. The first time I played No Man's Sky, I went for a very long period of time without getting any crash, and the crashes that I did have were very, very minimal. And as we all play games, I think we all know what it's like to have a game we're enjoying, but we have consistent issues with crashes, and then we just stop playing that game, which is a shame, and I don't want that to happen to anyone playing No Man's Sky or any game. So if I had one choice to pick one update that I would like to see, it would be this one. Please, if possible, could we have one or many updates that would allow for the game to have less crashes overall? 
So that is my list of five updates that I'd like to see added to No Man's Sky in 2024. If I can actually add one more thing that I would like to see, it would be to fix something that's been bugging me for quite a while. I don't know if fix is the right term, but it's just overall something I'd like to see added. When you land in the Nexus and you're playing in single player, quite a lonely place. You will see all these parking spaces and not one ship lands in it. Why not have non-playable character ships land in here just to give the universe a more lived in feel overall? I think this would be an easy thing to add to the game as we have it on space stations. Maybe only have traveler characters appear in the Nexus. I think that would lend itself well, but I don't know. It just seems like a weird thing to me. A little thing that I would like to see fixed. I think canonically that would also work that there are other travelers visiting the Nexus maybe different timelines maybe different universes different galaxies i think that would work you let me know down in the comments what you think about this idea they don't really think it through too much just something that inherently bugs me when i'm playing the game so like i said that's my overall list of five updates i'd like to see in no man's sky for nintendo switch for 2024 what do you think of the list do you like it do you hate it let me know down in the comment section and let's have a discussion about it so that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you very much again for watching. If you like what I do here, please do click that like button down below. It really helps out the channel a lot. It helps other people to find my content. If you want to see more, please click that subscribe button as that is the only way this channel can grow. Now, I hope you like this video and I hope to see you in the next one. And until then, thanks again.